we sort of break it down by what's been tested and shown in mice and what's been tested and shown in people. Um, and so there's a lot of things and just getting into lifestyle interventions, things like caloric restriction or dietary restriction have been tested in both and shown to work. And I'll talk a little bit about that. Um, you know, pharmacologics, things like metformin may reduce some version or some forms of immunosenescence, especially in mouse models. And there's a little bit of data in humans. Um, I think rapamycin is where we have some of the best data with pharmacologics. And I'll talk about that. There's other forms in mice that people have tested NAD supplementation or these uh, mitophagy activators like urolithin A. Um, biologically, you know, we know that people use PD-1 inhibitors to treat cancer. Uh, we know that also it's been shown in mice to have some benefits. Um, even antibodies targeting these myeloid bias hematopoietic stem cells. And what can happen is your hematopoietic stem cells can sort of become unbalanced with age. And rather than promoting lymphopoiesis, so the production of lymphocytes, um, they produce more granulocytes. And this is what contributes to this thing called myeloid skewing. And it's kind of hyperinflammatory and probably helps to also drive inflammation as we get older. Um, and so, you know, targeting those uh, myeloid bias HSCs has been shown to be beneficial for health in mice. And lastly, can you do stem cell transplantation, uh, thymic progenitors, or the use of CAR T cells? And so where CAR T cells have actually been used in mice is CAR T cells have been programmed to target senescent cells by effectively searching for this protein called UPAR on their cell surface. And Karina Moore and Scott Lowe's lab have done a lot of this and it's actually shown to be effective at improving health in mice. It's a durable effect. Sometimes you only have to give one infusion of CAR T cells and they last. And I think uh, some of Karina's early data that's coming out from a preprint that I read is it looks like it may actually even be rejuvenatory to the gut by giving these senolytic CAR T cells as well. 